Corduroy Brown from Huntington, West Virginia. I'm a musician, I work at an ad agency, and I love people. <laughs> So in my life, mental health has been uh, a very serious thing that I've learned to, to finally get a grasp on. And that started really in 2017. Um, when I started to get a grasp on, I started going to therapy and started seeing uh, someone that I can talk to and taking medicine to, to start getting my mind right. But a lot of mental health doesn't just start you know, out of the blue. Uh, for years, from the time I was in high school, even, up through college, I really, 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 really struggled with mental health. And I was self-harming, I was cutting, and I was really damaging my body physically. And I didn't quite understand it because on paper and to everyone else around me, I'm not your typical guy you know, that looks like he'd be struggling with mental health, I have a good family, uh, have money, have food to eat, have a nice, decent car to drive, have everything, all these little check boxes that are situated and that ideally make me look like I'm just a normal good guy. Um, but on the inside of that, there were a lot of internal struggles. So one of the things that people think of mental health, um, if you have to take medicine or see a therapist, like it doesn't mean you're crazy. It doesn't, and that's that's a really bad stigma. Is like it doesn't mean that you're crazy. Like seeing someone or getting mental health help is a sign of complete strength. That means I want to figure out how to make this better. And one thing I really learned in therapy was that, um, you know, we have chemicals in our brains, right? And the chemicals can be out of whack or in line or however. And when the chemicals start to not sync up, you start it starts affecting your thoughts. Eventually those thoughts start affecting your actions, like mine, where I was cutting and self-harming, uh, and eventually those actions become habits to where I was doing that all the time because I didn't know how to get out of that. And somewhere down that line, you have to break that chain up, whether that's through therapy or medicine. And mental health is something that people, people who are extremely successful and that have it all still suffer with that. And that's something that not a lot of people know. And I think even in Appalachia, it's a little, like sheltered in behind. They don't realize that like, this is an everyday thing for everybody. The music affects my well-being in a multitude of ways. Uh, there's not nothing quite like after like a show or performing that just you get all of your serotonin back and you get all these things that like, if you don't feel like you're getting enough of, like it just, it's just back. Um, but a lot of people ask like, how do I write songs? And I, I can't write a song if I'm sad or I'm down. I don't have it in me. I always write when I'm feeling good. And in music, it helps me bring it, bring myself out of some dark places, but I don't know that I rely on music, honestly, to, to pull me out. I know that it has a positive effect on me, but um, the music that I write comes from me when I'm feeling good. And that that comes from the other things where seeing a therapist or, you know, taking medicine, the, the right medicine combination like works out. So I think music as a whole helps round me out. It brings me joy, it brings me, fuels my passions and everything. And it's a part of my mental health, but they're also separate things. Cause I know that if I'm not feeling good, I'm not gonna write. And likewise, when I am feeling good, I'm gonna write. So, um, Music is an, is an escape for me as well. Music is definitely an escape for me because I can write songs that maybe no one else is ever gonna hear, but it feels good to write them just to get them out of my body and get them out of my mind. So there's so many songs that exist just to me and it helps me just when I need to just have that release, I think. So music has this incredible power to take you back exactly to when you heard it. I know that I can remember songs from the time, you know, from being a little kid. You know, you play something from the early 90s, it's gonna take me back to being a little kid. So when I listen to music itself, it, it creates these kind of eternal memories, right? It kind of, it kind of, puts a timestamp on your life. And I can listen to my friend's music or my music or whoever, whatever music, and get brought back to like a certain feeling and whether that's good or bad. So 
um, listening to music is almost just as powerful as creating it because it's allowing you to just kind of live in whatever that timestamp is. And there's so many of my, my own friends that make incredible music and it, it's just like, being a creative and listening to music is honestly kind of a blessing and a curse because you you know like what it took to create that so you're kind of analyzing it but if you can separate the the tech side of it and and just do it as a pure fan which is like refreshing at times um like i said it, it's like a timestamp on on a feeling or like if you listen to older music from the time you were growing up like it puts you back in that place when you first heard that song like i can remember listening to michael jackson tapes under my parents table you know in their in their dining room and just listening i can remember that i can hear dirty diana playing by michael jackson being a little kid and that's the power of music it uses both sides of our brain so when we're old and gray one day we're going to be able to dig into those memories and that's why you see like videos of people who are alzheimer's patients in their 90s and they can play music just like it's it's effortless and and that's the power of music man i love to listen because I'm not listening to it with this goal of like creating this like, oh man, one day I'm gonna listen to this and feel this way. But it's just got, it just puts a place in your mind that only that specific song can fill that void. So it's, it's awesome to just be a fan and also be able to create it at the same time. I think the thing about music is that there's a song for every occasion. There's a song for if you're not feeling good, there's a song if you're feeling good, there's a song if you just want to forget about everything around you and just let loose and have fun. And, and it's, it's capable of so many different things. And so I think ultimately music is, it does boost my spirits, but it also will, you know, if, if you hear that song that you needed in that right time, it's kind of like, yeah, music is powerful because it's it's using so many parts of your brain, but it's also like there's a song for every occasion, right? If you're feeling good, if you're feeling down. So music ultimately boosts my spirits. Just turning on some Paramore on the way over here to do this interview, I was feeling good. It brought sun was shining. I got Paramore playing. Like um, it's it, there's not a minute in my life where there's not something playing in the background for sure. I would challenge anyone to to live a week without turning on your favorite like uh, artist or your favorite YouTube video or, wh or whoever. Like I would challenge anyone to go a week without music or something that is creative that they enjoy. Uh, music and the arts and everything in that realm, we rely on that as humans. You know, there's not, there's, it's like food. Everyone loves food. Everyone loves music, whether it doesn't matter what kind, there's not a single person that dislikes m music or food. So is no doubt that incorporating music is going to make you feel better like and if it's not going to make you feel better it's going to have you're going to find a song that's going to fit the mood that you need for that day um, there's music for every single body out there so uh, music has its extreme benefits and like i said on even on a chemical level with your brain it uses both sides of your brain so whatever you're feeling um, there's a song for you and if you're feeling down don't underestimate the power of turning on a good song taking a drive there's a song out there for everybody, so go for it. Listen to music as much as you can. It's good for you. <laughs> How can we find your music? Yes. So if you look up Corduroy Brown um, on any kind of streaming platform, if you need to know how to spell Corduroy, it's Cord U Roy Brown, and you'll never forget it that way. That's the only way to spell it. Um, but look it up. I have YouTube, uh, Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Music. Literally, if you have a way to play music, I will be on that. Um, same way with social media, Corduroy Brown, WV, Cord U Roy Brown, WV. You'll find it anywhere. Just search it up. That's the best way to find it. the name Corduroy Brown? I don't have an answer for this. Oh gosh. I literally don't have an answer for this. I need, I'll tell you my, I'll give you the answer I give to everyone then. Uh, 
The name Corduroy Brown came from absolute thin air. I have no idea why I'm Corduroy Brown. I never wore Corduroy as a kid. I've never worn Corduroy until now. But here's my challenge to anyone who's watching this is if you can give me, if you can leave a comment in this video or however you're gonna see this, message me, whatever. If you can give me a good reason why my name is Corduroy Brown, I will run with that story and I will, I'll give you credit all the time, but I need a good reason that I'm Corduroy Brown other than I just am. Ha, ha, ha.